Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Renee from The Planner Place and today we're going to go over the 2018 Ink and Volt Planner. Okay, so getting started, this is going to be your year at a glance page. So on the left hand side, you're going to have the calendar year for 2018 and on the right hand side, you're going to have 2019. Getting closer, you can tell that the weekends have been shaded and it also shows you the days prior to that month and days after that month. So next, this is going to bring you to your year outline, and what you're going to write down is anything that you want to accomplish for 2018. This planner is definitely designed for someone who likes to set goals and keep track of them. So on these two pages, you are really able to expand. You can write down your goals, something new that you want to learn, or anything that you want to leave behind from 2017. Next, we're going to look at the monthly view. So this view definitely has changed from 2017. One noticeable difference is going to be the borders around each daily box has been shaded as well as Saturday and Sunday. In the monthly view, you are provided a small focus box where you can focus on one word or one theme for that month. You're still going to get your monthly goal page, which is going to be found right after the monthly view. And here you can write down your 31 day challenge for yourself and some things that you want to accomplish for the month. So the 31 day challenge you can really use to your advantage. You can write down 12 smaller goals that you want to accomplish or you can just switch it up and try something new every single month. So moving into the weekly spread, on the left hand side you're still going to get your inspirational question or quote and now for 2018 this blank page has now been transformed into a dot grid which is going to be really great if you want to track things or maybe just doodle and brainstorm. You're still going to get a chance to write down all of your weekly goals and also reflect on your yearly goal and keep track of how you are doing in other areas. So one major difference that you're going to see with the 2018 planners are the addition of page numbers. I think this was a great idea for Ink and Volt to add this to the new planners. As you can tell at the bottom right hand corner, you're going to have the current month and also the page number. So the entire planner now has page numbers on every single page. I think that it is great if you are already into bullet journaling or you want to experiment and use this as your starting point. Moving into the weekly view, you are going to start the week on a Monday and end on a Sunday with both weekend boxes being shaded. You are also going to have the words morning, noon, and night in very small text in the Monday boxes. So in the back of the planner, starting on page 266, you are going to have a reflection piece. And this is where you can look back on the entire year and write down good things that happen, things that you want to move on from. And then you're also going to get 12 pages of dot grids. And here you can write down notes or just reminders of things that you need. In the back, you are going to get one folder. And then on the very back of the planner, you're going to have the ink and fold embossed label. So overall, I'm really looking forward to this planner. I want to go ahead and include some comparison shots just so you guys can see the difference between the planner from last year as well as a couple other planners. If you have any other questions about this planner, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video.